What I'd like to do to wrap things up is just knock together a really simple half-blind dovetail joint to uh, better demonstrate the actual uh, techniques that are used. The, um, when you make a box joint or a dovetail, it helps if you have a pattern to follow to get the right cuts on each port. On a dovetail jig, the pattern is metal. You buy a different metal template to make a different joint. Uh, and also, you know, that fact tends to limit dovetail jigs to just a few joints right out of the box. Well, an anchor positioner is mechanical in nature. It sets the fence position for you, and your eyesight really only gets you in, in the ballpark. Uh, that allows the templates to be visual. And each of these joinery templates slides right into an open slot on the carriage, tells you where to stop and lock it down to produce the cuts on each board. Uh, rather than just a couple of joints, uh, these systems come with enough templates right out of the box to make 11 box joint and 29 different dovetail patterns. The dovetails alone can each be done, half blind through, sliding, or corner posts. The variations literally run into the billions if you have some time to experiment. The setup on the templates takes all of 30 seconds, but rather than showing you that, I'd like to emphasize that the systems are completely repeatable as you go back and forth between sawing and routing. Instead of covering any of the setup, it's a lot more fun to go directly right to the setup, the first cut on the setup that I had done previously. We're going to cut the uh, tailboards first. Tail sticking out, no wood at the corners, which is uh, how you can identify those. Very first step looks something like this. This is a dovetail-shaped rabbit. Let's just put a square peg into a round hole when it's time to assemble the finished joint. Tailboards themselves are going to go through the router bit upright and on end like so. And as you can imagine, uh, that's impossible to do freehand with any kind of consistency. So the joinery package includes the same extra big right angle fixture is our router systems. And that's what's given the job of keeping everything uh, square to the fence and square to the table as you work. It's worth pointing out, too, in your own shop, there aren't any situations where you're going to clamp in and cut just one of these tailboards at a time. You know, something you can't do with even the best conventional dovetail jigs is stack in a half a dozen, maybe 10 of those tailboards, cut them at the same time. Uh, that's how an anchor system will be used literally in every project. And it gives you much better efficiency in bigger projects, uh, like maybe doing a dozen drawers for a new set of kitchen cabinets. The information on that template is really simple. If it takes two boards to make a corner, the template will have two sets of lines. And the lines are just labeled so you can tell them apart. We're going to stop at the blue lines labeled A, right through the hairline cursor in order to cut these tails. Uh, first step, just take our nice light pass to break into the board. Go to the first line labeled A on the template. And every time we cross a line labeled A, We'll just take another pass. And you can see that uh, it's not necessary to spend a lot of time looking through the cursor, tapping the fence back and forth before you lock it down. You're just getting close. When you lock the positioner, it sets that final fence position for you. When you run out of lumber, the tailboards are done. All we need to do next is cut three matching pins to plug those into. Uh, where the tailboards went through the uh, router bit upright and on end, the pin board goes through the router bit flat on the table like so. Now we don't want to route the entire length of that board. We want to route in just the right distance and stop. Uh, that way, when the boards go together, the corner joint's nice and flush on the outside. And you could clamp a board or block of wood up here. That would limit your travel just fine. But to help you set that distance much more precisely, the stop that's in the joinery package is literally a miniature anchor jig. If you look inside here, there's a rack with teeth, hundreds of them, every 32nd of an inch apart. There are hundreds more of those teeth uh, set up right on the back of this fence so that every time that you tighten the stop, inde it indexes in perfect 30 seconds of an inch with the same accuracy and repeatability as the LS positioner. In fact, because of that patented positioning systems, these are the only repeatable stops available in all of woodworking. There's a scale right up here on the fence, and you don't have to use it, but if you take a second to zero that scale out, as you start to move the stop around on the fence, that keeps you from reaching for your tape measure to manually measure out every new setup. Back on this template, 
we use the lines labeled A to cut those tails. There's only one other set of lines on it. Those are the red lines that are labeled B. I run through all three of those. We've got a nice, snug, textbook, perfect half blind dovetail joint neatly centered across the width of the board. And that's a very simple and quick demonstration, but that's not bad work for a table saw fence if you stop and think of what you just saw. The joinery package and one of these router tables are capable of covering every routing operation that takes place with a fence on a router table. It's a tremendous amount of bang for the buck. The joinery package is huge. It's a lot of stuff. Both Wonder Fence halves cover every shaping and molding job you can name. Dust collection's built in at the far end. There's a very nice aluminum high rise to give you better support when the boards are going through vertically. It's our best incremental stop, our biggest right angle fixture. There are 49 more of those red, white, and blue joinery templates to cover every conceivable size, shape, and style of box joint or dovetail jig. And the instructions are fantastic. Uh, don't be put off by the size of this book. The, the instructions are very short and to the point. In fact, for the half-blind dovetail that I just made for you, the instructions are a total of a page and a half long. Uh, to make a box joint with an anchor jig, the instructions are so short, they don't even cover one full page. The, the reason this book is so big is two-thirds of it is not instructions at all. These are drawings full scale of what every one of those templates will produce. And the way that you pick the right joint for your project is you flip through the book, you literally take the board that you're going to be cutting into, hold it up against the drawing, and just make whichever one you think looks the best. It's beautifully written and illustrated. It's a great companion to that. We have a very nice hour and 20 minute instructional DVD. It covers box joints, the four most commonly made styles of dovetails, as well as covering the uh, more advanced functions that are available on the uh, Wonder Fence. Uh, it's a lot of stuff that's in the joinery package. Take the joinery package, the rip fence, add your choice of router tables, and that's how you come up with all of the TS combos. The rip fence and the joinery package without a router table is what you see listed as the TSLS joinery system. And if you already have a TS set up in your shop, the joinery package is a great retrofit to help you use that same positioner to cover both of those operations. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thanks for joining me here in the shop at Anchor Tools.